host, Lance McCann. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody going? doing this morning? Today, uh, my guest is Jamie Rodriguez, and I am Lance McCann. This is the Lance McCann Show, brought to you by SellYourHomeStockton.com. I'm a local realtor from Keller Williams. My license number is BRE0987449. Hi, Jamie. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Lance? I'm doing great to have you here. Thank you for having me. (laughs) So, uh, you, the name of your company is Shades of Color Paint Parties. Parties, yes. So, um, tell us a little bit about what you do. So, Shades of Color Paint Parties is a family owned business. My sister and I own the business. It's an art studio where you can come in and you can paint on canvas, you can paint on ceramics, we offer um, instructor-led classes, or you can just come in and sit and paint. Um, we offer kids' classes, so adult walk-ins classes. Are welcome. Yeah, walk-ins are welcome. Um, we're doing a summer camp for kids. We have tons of fun activities planned for the summer. We're making dream catchers. We're creating slime. Oh, so you're not just paint. No, parties. no, no. Walk- we want to incorporate. Studio. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a big, humongous, Different four thousand square media. foot uh, studio. Yeah. So you can come in and you can pretty much do anything there. Oh, uh-huh, cool. So were you uh, artistic growing up? I would say yes. I think that... um, Spray painting on walls doesn't count. (laughs) (laughs) I literally never did that. Um, I think the form of my art was um, dancing. That was my form of art. My personality is is my form of art. Um, But as far as like painting with acrylics or watercolors or charcoal, I was never exposed to any of that. So... Oh, were there, you expecting me to say <laughs> yes? And let, let me tell you, no, no, I. Because no, no, no. I'm sure you have tons of friends who know that this is what you do, but yes. they don't know how you got there. So, so the question is, how did you get into this business? What made you do something? What made you? What pushed you to be an entrepreneur and get into something that you really knew very little that, about? That Stockton needed. Um, Well, I have kids, Mm -hmm. and growing up, like I said, we didn't have a lot of exposure, you know, with art and stuff like that. Um, So my sister and I wanted to create something where our community could come in and they could, you know, learn how to create um, a painting of their own and work with acrylics. We wanted to create a space where kids could come in during the summer and do all types of art projects, whether it be um, creating slime with glitter or stained glass paintings or... um, Slime is a big thing now. Yeah, kids love slime, and and they love coming in, and they love doing it. Um, It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of great kids coming in during the camps. Um, So we just really wanted to create a a space where people could come, and we could make them happy, and then they're happy when they leave, and they're happy while they're there. They express themselves. Absolutely. Yeah, whether, and I mean, it doesn't have to be just canvas. It could be um, painting on ceramics, and people with no experience come in, and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't do this, and then when they leave, they're like, I can totally rock this. I'm a freaking (laughs) artist. I made this. I made this. I'm an artist, yeah. (laughs) People might not love it, but I do. Yeah, and we have great instructors um, who work with us who offer um, all sorts of um, skills like uh, one of our lead artists, Nancy Buckingham. She is an amazing artist, and she has um, developed a few programs with us where people can come in and learn um, to work with charcoal, charcoal, and they can take drawing classes on Wednesdays at our studio. Um, she offers uh, journaling classes, which I'm sure not a lot of people know. You know, like we make journals, you know, with oh. recycled material. Oh wow! Yeah. So you're actually making. Yeah, we're making the, the pages. Thing. We're making the pages. We're using Mod Podge. Um, some people bring in um, pictures or cards. You know, like older cards, and mm-hmm. we'll Mod Podge them onto the um, brown paper bags. That's what we make the journals out of. Oh, how cool. Yeah, I know. It's freaking awesome. What's it called? Upcycling? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So what did you do before you got into so this business? Before, I worked for a manufacturing company. I worked for Toyota doing the HR and payroll and all that stuff, all the hiring. Um, I think it was about 300 employees that I managed. and well, Yeah. So this is a little different. Yeah. It's a little Most different. Stress. I mean, yeah. different type of stress. Different sure type of stress. Stressful. But it's so much fun. You know, I walk into my space every day and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And, and then when people come in and they tell me, oh my gosh, I love this building. I love your space. I love what you're doing. It makes it worth it. Yeah. Every single day. 
you get to change people's lives a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah. From going to, I can't do it to, mm -hmm. I, I did it. Yeah, and especially seeing kids come in, like little kids who are like, I can't do that. Um, yesterday was a perfect example. We had the children's home of Stockton. Uh, we had a group of teenage boys come in who have never painted, who have, you know, basically come from like a, a rough background and they came into our studio and they got to paint and they were so excited and they were happy when they left. They're like, look at what I did, look at what I did. Everybody's piece was different. Mm -hmm. It and was awesome. Was it instructor led? Or? Yeah, it was instructor led. Um, and they got to eat, uh, they had, I don't know what it was. Uh, pizza yeah no no no. they had uh, burgers and fries yeah. so you get to sit and eat and you get to paint and we have music going it, it was really nice that's pretty cool yeah I mean I didn't realize you did all that there yeah I've been into your studio several times mm -hmm. but, uh, we do all sorts of events so we do um, we have a Father's Day card making event coming up the weekend before Father's Day so you can come into the studio and you can make a card for your dad we have all different types of papers and stickers and paint and you can make your dad a special card that's pretty cool i know you can draw my daughter off yeah <laughs> yeah she'll love it you're like it's not a babysitting studio well she's <laughs> old enough she could come in yeah, yeah. she could totally come in and make you a card that'd be cool uh-huh cool. um so how did you how did you get involved with painting like that seems so far away from what you were doing mm -hmm. to, to this what was it how do you move to that? Like, what was the aha moment? Mm -hmm. I, I like to ask my, my guests. Like, what was your moment? Um, I think it was the moment of I need something that's going to allow me to be myself. I need a job where I can come in and I can dance and do <laughs> yeah. all of this. Uh, <laughs> I've <laughs> I seen some of your little snippets <laughs> on Instagram. I need to be Facebook. able to do that. And I need to be able to talk to people and I need to be able to make them laugh. And I want them to be happy when they're around me. Um, so have you? Because I always ask. You're always so angry when I'm around you. What? I'm gonna put you in a chokehold right now. No. Um, I I wanted to do something that was gonna make me happy, um, and I wanted to be able to have the freedom to drop my kids off at school and pick them up and bring them to work and allow them to be with me. And so what was the idea? Like, let's do. It paint studio like so, where did that come from um my sister marcy she went to one in the bay area okay. and she's like let's do that let's start mobily let's get all the supplies and our idea was to do it on a large scale so we wanted to host host large scale paint parties mm. we wanted to do them for 200 people at a time so we got everything for 200 people and then we just started from there and we wow. found our uh, lead artist, Nancy Buckingham, who's amazing. I keep talking about yeah, Nancy. Nancy's pretty cool. Yeah, Nancy's people. awesome. And we were the muscle, and was, Nancy was like the creative, you know, brain behind the, right. the artwork that you see. So people walk into our studio and they're like, oh my gosh. That's, yeah, is there's this... some nice stuff there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some of your clients have done mm -hmm. enough for you to yeah. showcase. Yeah. It's, um, it's pretty cool. Um, so what's. What new events do you have coming up? Um, like I mentioned before, we have our summer program um, that we are starting June 5th. And you can come in for the day. You can just drop in. Um, or you can do the week. Or you can sign up for all six weeks. Um, you don't have to buy the whole six weeks. It can just be just for the day. Okay. And it's from 9 to 11. Every day there's um, a new project that we're working on. Um, we're doing journaling, slime, stained glass windows. Stained glass windows. Yeah, really? yeah, it's actually really cool. Um, no this, glass though. There's no glass involved. Uh, I was gonna say this. Yeah, no glass with <laughs> little ones. This does that involve acid and glass? No, 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 like no. Two it, things that shouldn't go with kids. It, it's it's paint and um, this really cool plastic material that we're using. Oh, okay. Dream catchers. Uh, we're taking a picture for Father's Day and making a frame out of popsicle sticks. We're doing a canvas painting on National French Fry Day, which is in July. Oh, it's uh, July 13th. I can't wait for that. Yeah, day. National French Fry Day. So if you want to come in, you can paint. Um, we have French this fries. really cool design um, of French fries for National French Fry Day. Awesome. So we have tons of fun stuff for the summer planned. So something that comes to mind is there's a lot of paint party mm -hmm. places. What sets your place apart then? from other places. Well, duh, it's me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you she's angry. <laughs> I, well, duh, it's me. No, I think that 
we have been so successful because of who we are, because of my personality, and because of my sister-in-law's personality, mm -hmm. and because of Nancy and and the the people that we have worked with. Yeah, our team. Yeah. That's I believe that's what has set us apart from other you know other studios. Yeah, other studios or, or, studios or, or paint parties. And then there are a few of them that um, we've actually worked with. Um, there's a couple of people. Yeah, where we've had events and somebody wants to book an event and we don't have the availability to do it, mm -hmm. so we will refer. Um, there's one girl in mind that we absolutely adore. She's a great artist here in town named Kia. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we do work with other people like yeah. that. Kia, I don't know her last she name. Did. She's going to kill me. We were on a softball team together. She, is she uh, an esthetician? Yes. Kia Duris. Yes. yes, yes. She's so cool. She's supposed to be on my show coming up soon. Kia, too. you have to be on a show. Yeah, Kia. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so we, you know, referred business over to her, and anytime um, we didn't have enough supplies, we did an event with like 173 people, not to, you know, say anything, <laughs> but we, we didn't have enough supplies, and I was like, hey, I need to borrow your supplies, and she was kind enough to yeah, say, here. She's, a, she's really cool. Yeah, so she we, did. along the way, we've met really great people who've helped us. It's cool that you're not, you know, a lot of people are like selfish. No, it's yeah, not going to work like, that way. Yeah. And, and I'm not that kind of person. So I'm sure the ladies want to know. Do you do uh, wine paint parties? <gasps> Absolutely. Did I not mention that in the you beginning? That. So it's BYOB, so you can totally bring in your own booze as long as you bring enough for me and for Marcy and for Nancy. We just want to sample it. You know, I'm not being, right. you know, but you can. You can totally bring in your own wine. Um, <laughs> You have certain days, or is that... Uh, no, it's every day. It's, oh, shut the front door. <laughs> yeah. So we drink every day. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we do drink in the evening. <laughs> it's like the uh, animal house. Yes, it's exactly like... No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. It's not like it's that. It's a family business. Yeah, so during the day, we're not drinking any wine, but during our adult events in the evening, you can totally bring uh, in your own food. Like I said, we have a huge studio. Um, there's enough space for food and wine. Just make sure to bring enough for me. No, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have a secret stash somewhere. Oh, I do. <laughs> I sure do. That is pretty cool. So, are you? Do you read at all? I like to ask my my guests. Like, mm -hmm. if you're if you read, what are you reading right now? What book is or have read that has inspired you? Or, or you know, just to try to give people a sense of who you are. Uh huh. Um, let's see. Well, last night I read Junie B. Jones with my second grader. Oh, uh, how cool. Yeah, we're, uh, so we're on the, the series right now. With, my daughter, you love that book. Yeah, the I mean, I think there's was, like, I want to say like 50 them. or so, yeah. and we're just about through with the series. Oh, how cool. Um, and I'm very animated, so she loves it when I can, uh, you know, make the characters come alive to her. So is that something else you do at your studio? Is it story time? Uh, no, not story time. I do like to do the electric slide. So in between paint drying, <laughs> I like to put on uh, the electric slide and I make everybody get up. And you know who you are when you like to dance with me. I love you. And if you don't like to dance, then... I'm making you dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no storytelling, but we do do the electric slide. Cool. Uh-huh. Cool. <laughs> Um, man, you're so, uh... Animated? Animated. <laughs> so how does, how would somebody go about booking an event or just, you know, if they wanted to do, like, yeah, so ten people, how do they go about doing that? If you wanted to do an event, um, if you wanted to have a private event, we require a 10-person minimum. Okay. Even if you don't have the 10 people, you still pay for the 10, um, and everybody can get 10. If we had a party, you can get five people, or you know, your four people, I can mm -hmm. get four people. Um, you can call the studio, or you can book it over the phone, or on our website. Um, oh, you have a website? Yeah, we do have a website. It's that? Shades of Color. Dot net. Okay. <laughs> it's shadesofcolor.net. Um, and there's a list of all of our upcoming events on our website. You just click on the image you like and you can buy a ticket there. And I think right now there's a special. Uh, normally the tickets are $30, but they're discounted to $27. Okay. Um, or you can just come in if you want to, you know, just pop in and say, hey, I want to paint this and your friend wants to paint that we can provide you with the instructions on the paintings and you can sit and paint and create your yeah, own masterpiece. You're giving people advice like what uh -huh. is there? You know, uh -huh. like, no, wait, 
Is it pretty good though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty yeah. good, like, right? I was there at one day and like, teaching this kid how to uh, paint a circle. Uh-huh. That was pretty cool. Yeah, there's a technique. And so usually when I paint, I paint on my pants, you know, <laughs> just, just so that I don't waste, like, you know, your paper or your napkin. I'll just, like, create uh -huh. circles all over my pants. So if you ever see me, I have, like, crazy paint pants. She has crazy paint pants. I have pants crazy paint now. pants. I know. Uh huh. They're for sale. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, are you on Facebook? Can people find you on Facebook? Yes, we are on Facebook. Shades of Color Paint Parties. Shades of Color Paint Parties. Instagram. Instagram. Shades of Color Paint Parties. So you're all over the web. Yes, we are. So where are you located at? We are on Pacific Avenue behind BJ's. I'm sure everybody knows where BJ's is. Or if you're not a fan of BJ's, Roger Dunn Golf. We're right next to Roger Dunn Golf in Stone Creek Village. Yes. Yes. Love that. What's the name of that sushi place here? Sushi, uh, Kyodai. Yes. Kyodai. Very good. They have really good vegan tofu rolls. Oh, you're, that's right, you're yeah. vegan. Yeah, vegan tofu rolls. <laughs> Out of my studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. so a uh, couple... Don't make me say vegans out there, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Lance was saying that he had, what was it, a Manny Burger? A Manny Burger, a double Manny Burger. Oh. Organically fed. Oh, no <laughs> thank you. No thank you. <laughs> so what's on, what's on the horizon for Shades of Color? Anything, uh, anything new, exciting that you want to tell the audience about? Yes. Um, we will soon be offering um, once a month memberships to our studio where you can come in. Um, we have a back area in our studio that we're um, redoing. Behind the curtain. Yes, behind the curtain, behind that the, one, yeah. yeah. So we are setting up um, wheels for people to come in if you work with clay. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, if you work with clay, you can come in anytime during the month, um, as many times as you want, and sculpt there. Um, so we will be rolling out that very soon. We're very excited about, about that. What you see on the movies, where the on Ghost, or is that what you're gonna <laughs> no, say? No. Well, I, I figure people know what that is, but like you know where the, like the man or the woman standing there, like in a pose, and people are drawing them. Like, are you doing anything like that? I don't um, know what that's called. No. 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 Where they're standing there drawing. You no, know, like when there's a group of people standing around a mm -hmm. person, and then they're drawing that person. Oh yeah, know. like a live, like a live. Yeah. Thing. Well, it, we've, we've talked about it. We just haven't found a model to do it yet. Yes, yeah, so we have to find somebody who's willing to stand there. For and, an hour. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need that guy, that Marine, who stands in, at attention. Yeah. Uh, we're saluting for like four hours as yeah. the motorcycle right So if you know anybody, just let us know. And then we'll, anybody could stand still we'll that long. We'll put that on the calendar, land. <laughs> <laughs> anybody could stand still that long. Yeah. Uh, we have had a lot of people ask about stuff like that too, and we just haven't found anybody. So if, if anybody is out there who's willing to stand still, to stand for still for a very long time, yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Remember, it's a it's a family studio, but we do have these really cool like black yeah, lines no, they... that like roll all the way down. So it's a possibility. I'm crazy. Yeah. So where are you located at? I mean, what's your address? Your business uh, address? five seven five nine Pacific Avenue B one three five. B one three five. Uh huh. And a phone number to reach you. Phone number is two zero nine five nine eight. Oh, that's the shop's number. You can call two zero nine. What's your phone number? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's uh two zero nine eight one seven seven zero four four. That's the shop number. No, that's my personal cell. Oh. Now these all these weirdos are gonna call me. I don't know I don't the. I weirdos. Oh, okay, I guess cool. Okay. They're all cool. Okay. Okay. Hey, Sydney. Um, yeah. What's oh yeah. Number? What's my uh, my store's number? I'm sorry. Two zero nine. Five nine four zero one nine eight. Five nine four zero one nine eight. I don't remember that. <laughs> so who is Lee? Sydney Lee. Kennedy says I volunteer Lee, Lee as a tribute. Oh, you don't know Lee? Lee's uh, my softball buddy. Lee's freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, he'll have to come in and uh, be our model. He's awesome. I don't know if he could stand that long. Sydney, if I give Lee some wine, will he be able to just stand? Yes. Stand in the <laughs> pose? <laughs> well, like this? Or yeah. Like this pose? Yeah. The thinker pose? We'll have to get like a, a one of those things for him to big, sit on, yeah. A big ball so you can hold it like Atlas. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sydney says for modeling. Mm hmm. Yeah. How about Sydney model? Sydney's beautiful. 
There Sydney. you go, Sydney. We, Sydney. we volunteer you. Yes, I would love for Sydney to come in and do it. Sound good, Sydney? All right, we'll wrap this up. Uh, Jamie has to be at the shop to open up here shortly. So um, tonight, between 6 and 8 p.m., I'm hosting a free networking event at Papa Pablo's. Come out, bring some business cards, a smile, and a great attitude, because you never know. You could be one connection away from changing the trajectory of your business. Whoop, whoop. So come out, you, see, you can meet Jamie. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and uh, put a face to the name uh, again. And uh, we'll see you then. Have a good evening, or have a good morning, everybody, and I'll see you there tonight. Bye. All right. Audience.